Hello friends, I am Jaydeep Deshpande. I welcome you back to my channel. Today we are going to analyze the truss in ANSYS Mechanical APDO. The truss is as shown in the figure. It's basically an equilateral triangle of length 1 meter. The bottom two vertices are fixed, one completely and the other partially. We are applying a force of 200 Newton vertically and 300 Newton horizontally on the top vertex. The cross section area of the truss members is 500 mm square and the material is steel. We are asked to find out the displacement and reactions at the bottom two nodes and stresses in each of the element. So let's proceed to our setup. We will begin with preprocessor by selecting element type. In element type go to add and select link 180 type element. Uh, select link 180 and click OK. Exit this window and move on to the real constants. Link 180 requires cross section area to be defined over here. So we'll select this, add the cross section area of 500 mm square over here. If you want to see the effect of weight, then you have to add the mass per unit length uh, factor over here. But we are not going to do that today. So uh, click OK and exit this window. Now we'll define the material. It's going to be steel. Go to material models. Sorry. Uh, go to structural, go to linear, go to elastic, isotropic. So we'll add the Young's modulus in mm Newton second system and Poisson's ratio of 0.3. Click on OK and exit this window. So now we'll go to modeling directly. Uh, so the, pro the process of creating the truss is going to be we'll first locate the nodes and create the elements and then we'll define the boundary conditions. So first let's create nodes. Go to an active coordinate system. Our node number 1 is going to be 0, 0, 0. Click on apply. Our node number 2 which is the right bottom corner is at distance of 1000 mm. So have the value 1000 inserted over here. And click on apply. Node number 3 is the top vertex. It's at a distance x in x direction of 500 mm and in y 1000 sin 60 that comes out to be 866.025 so click on ok so our three nodes are ready so now we'll create the elements go to elements go to auto number click through nodes here since the cross section is going to remain uniform as it is defined in the problem you are not bothered much about the element attributes since they are going to remain constant for all the three elements so now we have created the uh, we have created the truss now let's fix the bottom two uh, vertices uh, if you somehow lose this uh, representation of elements just go to plot and click on elements so your elements will appear again now go to loads to define loads go to apply structural first let's apply the displacement uh, boundary condition on nodes select the left bottom click on ok we are going to restrict motion at all degrees of freedom so we'll add a value of zero over here for the node number two we are only going to restrict its motion in y direction so we'll have to select uy over here and click on apply so that's it it's applied and now let's apply the loads go to force on nodes select the top node and click on ok the fx is 300 newton so click apply again select the same node click on ok now we'll go with fy fy is 200 newton in downward direction so we'll have to put a minus sign over here and click on apply so our model is defined all we have to do is solve it. Solve it. Go to solution, click solve, current load step and click on OK. The solution is done. Now to view the results, go to general post processing, go to plot result, go to contour plot, go to nodal solution and we'll have say a displacement vector sum. So this is the displacement. Now to check the numerical values with the answer we'll go to list results go to nodal solution and again we'll have displacement vector sum so it is showing me a value of 7.038 into 10 to the power minus 3 mm 
for node number three and for node number two it is showing me 0 0.2077 into 10 to the power minus 2 or 2.07 into 10, 10 to the power minus 3 mm so what's the answer the answer is 2.079 and 7.039 yes we have 7.039 and the third value is minus 1.938 and do we have it yes minus 1.933 into 10 to the power minus 3 mm so our displacements are displacements are correct let's check the stresses go to elemental solution and we'll plot the x component of stresses so click on apply so here we have for all the three elements the stresses are as shown over here so we'll see the values of stresses sigma 1 is 0.416 and the value we have obtained is 0.41547 sigma 2 is minus 0.83 and here we have minus 0.83 yes and the third value is 0.368 and we have 0.369 so even the stresses are correct to see the reactions go to reaction solution and we'll just select all items and click on apply so you have the reactions over here so we'll see the solution the reaction r1x is minus 300 do we have it yes we have r1x is minus 300 r1y is minus 159.8 it is minus 159.81 and r2y is 359.8 and we have 359.81 so our values are almost matching the solution is correct if you want to plot the results or if you want to print the results so go to plot controls go to redirect plots and go to 2jpg file here if you want the image on a white background you have to select this option it will turn the black background which you see over here into white and plot the remaining things as it is uh, and when you click ok your plot will be generated in the directory where you are saving your project or the default directory is in my documents so with this i'd conclude thanks for watching the video if you need any more help below is the link to my blog post your comments over there thanks a lot